Sheriff. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Bushfires have dominated the headlines throughout summer and continues to be top of mind for all Australians. The widespread global media coverage of the bushfires and misleading maps implying the whole country is or was on fire has now created an enormous challenge for our tourism industry, and we have a big job ahead of us to address the safety concerns of international tourists. In my neighbouring Western electorate, the Gold Coast hinterland is home to the heritage-listed Binnaburra Lodge, uh, which was unfortunately destroyed. Binnaburra Lodge was an icon of our local tourism industry. The loss of this lodge was a blow to the local industry, but the good news is that it should be back up and running by Easter with the assistance of both state and federal disaster recovery funding. It was fantastic to see the Prime Minister visit the Gold Coast hinterland in September to support those who have lost everything in the fires. Now, in addition, we have seen the coronavirus outbreak and four cases directly from Hubei province remain in isolation at Gold Coast University Hospital. My thoughts are with the Chinese community at this time, as there are very many families whose lives have been adversely affected. We have a thriving Gold Coast community, which I, of course, support. Australia stands ready and is leading the world with our precautionary measures. The public health of Australians comes first. Foreign nationals, excluding permanent residents, who are in mainland China from February 1 forward, have not been allowed to enter Australia for 14 days from the time they have left or transited through mainland China. These are tough but necessary measures our government is taking to keep Australians safe. Unfortunately, these factors, which are outside of our control, will impact the Gold Coast economy. China is the Gold Coast's biggest and most valued international tourism market, and we welcome many Chinese foreign students to the Gold Coast. This sector is very important to our local economy, Mr Speaker. And I highlight that post measures we will continue with our close relationship with this sector and with our relationship with China. I want to also highlight that, like many other tourism hubs around the country, the Gold Coast is feeling the pinch with regards to decline in international visitation in key markets uh, such as China, UK and the US. This is a result of the negative global exposure of the worst bushfire season in Australia's history and now the precautions taken for coronavirus. We're seeing airlines bookings to Australia in the first few weeks of the year down by some 30 to 40 per cent. Tourism is a key industry on the Gold Coast, and we are the fourth most visited destination in Australia. I urge Australians to continue to go about their domestic business travel and their plans to holiday at home. Early estimates of the immediate economic impact to the Gold Coast of the bushfire season and the coronavirus pandemic have estimated by Destination Gold Coast to be around $40 million. Our government has invested an initial $76 million to make sure Australia's tourism industry can weather the impacts which are being felt not just in the fire-affected regions but in key tourist markets, including the Gold Coast. This campaign is all about focusing local because Australians truly understand what has transpired. Aussies know that the Gold Coast is still open for business. Book now for a fantastic local holiday to our first-class beaches. Shamelessly, I stand here and ask Australians to do that. Uh, we have a thriving cafe scene and we have a stellar accommodation brands on the coast. The next few months lead into whale watching season and are a little bit cooler for those enjoyable visits to theme parks. If you're on the coast, how about you plan a staycation at the beach or head out to our hinterland for a long weekend or head to northern New South Wales, New South Wales coast or the Adelaide Hills uh, who have been devastated by the fires, as we know, Mr Speaker. You'll not only have a fabulous time during your holiday at home, but you will help to sustain a business, jobs and livelihoods. I would like to commend CEO Annalisa Batista and her Destination Gold Coast team for being on the front foot with this issue, putting forward $2 million to spend on marketing the Gold Coast to the domestic over-50s market, quite a lucrative market. I'll continue to work closely with tourism stakeholders, my Gold Coast colleagues, uh, and Minister Birmingham to ensure that we do what we can to assist the Gold Coast through this downturn. Thank you.